Hey, I'm Mello. Welcome to the first time for everything. So as a beginning YouTuber, I chose this room, the only room that I could choose to do uh, my YouTube videos in. After my first video, which this would be my second video, I realized how much of an echo this room actually has. So I know that I am going to be forced to apply acoustic treatment to this room and this will be the first time that I do it. Technically I already did it, but it was the first time, so I am going to show you the solution that I have come up with. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to be more specific if it's not specific enough. But this echo will not do. This will not work for me, so I will show you what I have come up with. When I recorded my very first video, I had already researched some acoustic treatment kinds of things, but I didn't really know how bad this room was gonna be until I was in the middle of recording that first video, and I heard that echo so bad. I was really hoping you couldn't hear it, but after playing that video again, it was terrible, and I knew that I had to do something about it. So, You've, everybody's heard the phrase, measure twice, cut once. The whole idea of that is to just make sure what you're doing before you do it so you don't mess it up. I'm the kind of person that like measures like 15 times and then cuts once. In my perfectionist mind, I started researching acoustic treatment like, like three months ago. And I'm the kind of person that I need to look up like 10 YouTubers and if at least five of them don't say the same thing, I don't want to do it. But if five or more people say the same thing, then I'm pretty confident that that's going to work. So uh, two of my favorite videos, one of them was a guy moving his YouTube studio from one house to another house. And the room area that he had chosen was more of like a garage, like a basement. So he had a lot of cement walls and whatnot. The two main things that stuck out to me, and by the way, if you want to look up this kind of thing, the phrase acoustic treatment is what you want to look for on YouTube and Google. Those are the, the terms that will give you the most results, at least in my experience. So one of the things that you've probably seen in a lot of YouTube videos is acoustic tiles, also called acoustic panels. Now, the most common sizes that they come in is 12 inch by 12 inch, 24 inch by 24 inch, 48 inch by 48 inch. The standard color is black, that's definitely the cheapest. There are some companies that sell white, a lot of companies will sell red, blue, green, but the cost is substantially higher for colors. And you can't take black and then spray paint it your color because then you're gonna create a surface that reflects the sound and that's obviously not the point of acoustic treatment. Now these panels, let's go with 12 by 12, they're very flexible, they're all foam. The two most popular kinds I have seen is wedge, like that, so that the panel will go like this, like, like teeth, and diamond, but I think it's more like a pyramid, so it's, you'll see little pyramid squares all over it. 48 square foot is about $60. Now that wall there is, it's not exact, but it's about seven by seven. So if there were no windows there, I could cover the whole wall for $60. But that's one of the two of my smallest walls. And then I got two more walls. But in a situation like this, I can't put panels on the windows. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. So I knew that I needed 96 square feet to put everywhere to dampen this sound. They're $60 a piece. Now the three sizes, not, not the not 12 inch by 12 inch, but the three heights are one inch, let's go with wedges. One inch wedges, two inch wedges, four inch wedges. Now if money is not an option, everybody said this, get four inch wedges or, or pyramids or diamonds or whatever you wanna call them. Definitely do that, but the cost is substantially more. Now also, everybody said one inch does barely anything. Two inch is the sweet spot. So I had already planned to get two packs of 48 tiles that are two inch wedges, and those are about $60 a piece. So I knew in my head I was already in for $120, which I didn't have. I was gonna get the first set, install it, and kind of just deal with it until I could afford the other side. Now, because this guy was in a basement, he built like these panels to mount the tiles to. In the back of the panels, he had a sound blanket. I don't know the exact terminology on that, but he called them a moving blanket on steroids. Another YouTuber called them reinforced moving blankets. He said that if you used moving blankets, they weren't gonna do nearly as much as an actual audio dampening blanket would do. Oh, by the way, uh, the most common way that people will adhere these panels to the wall is glue. Don't do that. They all say don't do it. 
you first off, when you remove them, you can never use them again. Second off, you're doing some serious damage to your drywall. It's going to be dead obvious. I mean, just think when you put a hole in the wall and you got to patch it, you can still like pick out that hole. Now think of like a 12 by 12 area. Either use T pins, you can get those at Home Depot really, really cheap, or angry cops just screws them into the wall. Like it's not that big a deal. You can do it that way. That being said, I have a Harbor Freight near me and I thought, well, I'm already using moving blankets that I depend on for my both kinds of my jobs. So they're $4 a piece at 40 inches by 72 inches. So I figured, you know what, for 40 bucks, if I bought four of these and tried to figure out how good or bad they were, I'd be willing to sink that money into it because I can use these blankets again. So that's what I did, and uh, I'm actually going to show you how to do it. I did it in the beginning just quickly haphazardly to see if it would work. It works a lot better than I thought it would, so now I did it uh, the reinforced way, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first off, this is the moving blanket that I got. So it's 40 inches this way, and it's 72 inches this way. Okay, one side's black, one side's gray, and both sides have white stitching. I wasn't too keen on the white stitching, but it's better than nothing. I know I'm going to need a background at some point. So I figured, all right, well, let me just start with that because if 40 bucks makes a huge difference, then I'm going to do that. Now, first off, I went and got hooks and anchors. So this is the hook that I chose. These are called cuff hooks. I got this whole pack. Now, the, the yellows were not in there. I just did that for the leftover hooks so I knew I had the same size anchors if I ever needed them again. So this came with a pack of 40 white cup hooks and this was $6.50. Now I found the appropriate anchors which is this little yellow one here and I found this 100 pack, I couldn't find smaller than that, for $3. So for less than $10 I only used half the hooks and I used a fifth of these anchors. Now, originally I had used hooks that I had kind of like saved up throughout my life in like junk drawers and whatnot, and I just threw them straight into the ceiling and they came down with just a little bit of force. These have not. So I got this, I got a drill, and I had the appropriately sized drill bit that was the closest to the same size as the anchor. So. You should be able to just push these right into the hole you drill. Once the anchor has the hook in it, what will happen, if you don't know what, what anchors do, is once it gets to the back, the top end will expand. So now that top end is expanded and it will tighten inside the hole. I'm pretty confident these hooks in the ceiling that I've already put could hold 10 pounds, 15, maybe 20 pounds a piece. I'm not sure. So now originally I had taken this moving blanket and I had cut a little hole. Let me just do it for you now. I had cut a little hole in the corner of the blanket and just forced the hook through. So what I did, I don't have anything hard to do this on. Okay, so there's enough of a hole through that. So what I did was the old hooks, I just hooked through and had them to the ceiling. But this will rip after a little while, even with a little bit of weight. So I wanted something a little bit better than that. So now I thought, I was wrong, but I thought what I wanted was grommet pliers with 100 grommets. And I, and I did, but these holes are a little bit too small. So this was $9, by the way, at Harbor Freight. Haven't used any of them. You got 100 grommets there. So what I ended up buying, because I wanted the bigger ones like you see in tarps, is I bought this from Harbor Freight for $4. So these are the, really the only tools you need outside of something to hit this with. And these are the grommet pieces that it comes with. They also come with 40. I've used a little bit more than half. This is what they look like. So one of them looks like this. It's got like a fat edge to it. It's got a bit of a lip. The other side of it is almost flat. So what you do, and I'll do it right now, I guess it's pretty easy. So you use this, I probably shouldn't do this on the wood, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So you put your hole in here, you take the fat one, and you slip it through the hole, okay? So now it's through the hole, 
and I set this onto this plate. Okay, so put it just like that. Now, once it's on there, try not to make too big of a hole, you take this flat, this flat disc side of it, and you put it right over top, it should slip right through. So I'm not sure what this part of the tool is for. I think that's for cutting, but I didn't need that. So now I take this part, this side down, and I put it inside this hole. I didn't know how to do this before I did it for the first time. So now you take a hammer and you're not hitting this thing hard. Okay, you're just doing it until there's not any more give. I know it seems kind of loud, but I'm doing audio dampening now. So that's it. So now I got this big ring through this thing and it's perfect. It's, it's exactly what I wanted to hang these from the ceiling. I guess you could hang them from anything that you want. So what I did was I took 10 of these sheets, these, uh, these moving blankets, and I put three in every one of them. So I used 30 grommets just on these blankets. So I took these hooks, these, uh, the hook and the, um, and the anchor. And what I did was I put these anchors in the ceiling. So I would drill through it. And once I drilled through it, I pushed the, the anchor into here and then I just screwed the hook in. And now I have hooks everywhere. Now these hooks are 19 inches apart. The reason they're 19 inches apart is because these moving blankets are 40 inches wide for the top side. Well, you can't put a ring on the actual edge. So I just put the rings, the grommets, one inch from every corner, the top side, not the bottom side. You don't need it on the bottom side. So if you take two inches off of 40 inches, you have 38 inches. I wanted three hooks per. So I had one on this corner, one on that corner, and I wanted one in the middle. 38 divided by two is 19. So if you measure 19 inches from one of the corners to the center, that's where your third hole is. Or you can do five holes or, or whatever. But if it's an odd number of holes, there will be a hole in the center of the blanket, less measuring. That is the same thing I did for all the hooks. All of the hooks are 19 inches apart. So I know that when I hang all these blankets, which you will see here real soon, that everything will match up. All the distances will be right. I can just throw them up and take them down so I don't have to like block out all of this. Now, uh, this kind of wasn't the plan, but I have seven windows in this Florida room. It gets really hot in here and really bright, but these blankets are gonna be amazing for cutting that light down and also generating light when it's dark, so that way I have something to reflect off of instead of any lights that I have going outside or, or whatever the case is. So give me a second, I'll bring the blankets in and I will show you the audio difference. Okay. Okay. So. There's all the blankets that I already did. And now let's just hang them up. See what it looks like. Okay. First blanket. Second one. Third. Fourth. I'll go ahead and change the angle so you can see the rest of what I'm doing. Fourth. Fifth. Come on, buddy. Sixth. Crap, where are my other two blankets? Seven. I only used eight of them. 
I didn't actually need that one that I showed it uh, showed you how to do the grommets on because I don't know I just didn't need it so I don't really care to cover these front windows that's kind of gonna give me my light so now I'm still gonna use these clips these like alligator clip looking things later on to do this Or you could do something more permanent, I guess. You could get more permanent with it. Like right here, some of the light is coming in, so I would just rather clip these together. So I could do this a couple more times. If I don't want my lizard cages shining through. So now, now you tell me how much better does the audio sound in here? This sounds so much better than it was, so much better. And it's eight blankets, that's all it was. So just these eight, they were supposed to be $4 a piece, so technically it would have been $32. They happened to be on sale, so they were only $2.50 each. You're talking about it's not even $20 for these blankets. I could put up 30 more of these and not even cross the halfway mark for the price of, of audio dampening this room. Let me show you one more thing I learned. Um, there's this guy I watch, his name is Mixer Plays, M-X-R, P-L-A-Y-S. He does a lot of meme review stuff now. I learned about him a few years ago because I like playing Fallout and he is a Fallout builder and he covers the, uh, the mods on Fallout. He and his girl are the duo on this meme review type channel. And at one point, there was a bug in the room and she just freaking bailed. And when she bailed, I saw that her background was a black blanket. It was a bed sheet. Didn't look like that. I didn't know if it was painted. I didn't know if it was like green screen kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is instead of having these zigzags on here, I'm going to do the same grommet technique to these two shams that I bought. I mean, they're, they're bed sheets, but they were called shams. They're thicker, but I'm going to hang those up and we'll see if we can make a difference. Okay. So, these are the shams I got. I still have to wash them. I mean, I just discovered that this will work. So, I didn't want to put too much effort into it until I knew it worked. So, like I showed you before, I put grommets at the top of these shams. So, I'll hook these shams up, which they're thicker than normal blankets. So any kind of thickness I can get is going to help me with my sound quality. And this is entry level. So anything I do more than this is just going to help more than this. So now, as much as I want the audio dampening to be the main function, I still need a background. So as far as I'm concerned, even audio aside, I want these. Now, they're not washed. They've been laying on the ground. You see these wrinkles. And I didn't really think about this ahead of time, but I bought two of them. And if I bought two of them and it's going to be the center of my frame, then no matter what, I'm going to have a seam. That sucks, but it's okay. I'll just buy a third one. And then I'll have one center so there won't be any seam. Now, these wrinkles over here, I can get those wrinkles out. You won't even see them. This seam won't even be here. Like if you look... If you look over here, this is about center. This is about center right here. So if I took out all these wrinkles, I mean, I could probably spray it with water, then it would be black. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even know it was a bed sheet. You wouldn't know because I didn't know until she flipped the bed sheet over her. So this is what I'm working with right now. Now I'm gonna listen back to audio. I still hear kind of an echo. But when I was saying before that I want to use um, at least one set of those acoustic panels, what I was looking at is a minimum of two sets of those acoustic panels, $120, and a minimum of one of those reinforced moving blankets for another $60. I was looking at $180, and I still, I still would not have had a background. So all these moving blankets were $32. All the hooks and the anchors were another 10, so that was 42, and each, each one of these shams was $20. So, now I kind of needed those anyway, but let's call it $82. 
I am still $98 shy of the entry level that I would do. And, and what I mean by that is I knew I needed two packs of the, the foam squares. And I knew, knew I needed one blanket. But I was pretty sure that was the cheap option. And what I needed was three packs and two moving blankets. If I did that, that's $300. Of the $80 I did now, if I added another eight blankets for $32, and I added one more of these for 20, that's an extra $52, where I'm already at, what did I say, $80, $82? So I'm gonna be at $130, $140, and I can guarantee that even if I added $60 worth of panels on the ceiling, I'm good. I just saved $100, $150. So this is my first experience. This, you know, this is the first time for everything, and this is my first time. So I don't have the money that I did a few months ago, but I, I still got to do what I got to do. So this is my solution. I'm very, very happy with it. There's lots of things that I can do. I can iron these out. I can put more alligator clips on all of these blankets where they cut in and the light has been drastically reduced. You saw earlier, I don't have my ring light on. I don't have any lighting settings on. I don't have that light on. There's so many things that I could do that will improve this, but that's the whole point. Do something today and you'll be better than yesterday. So that's what I'm doing. So this is my sound dampening technique and today is the worst I'm ever gonna be at it. If I do anything else more, I'm gonna be better than I am today. That's the whole point. What I knew yesterday is not what I knew today. See ya.